All right, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is where you are. Um, hopefully I won't have to post very many more videos on this topic. Uh, I'm very happy that the 11th Circuit, Circuit Court um, denied the request for an extension to the stay of the judge's ruling about same-sex marriage bans in the state of Alabama being unconstitutional. I am happy and proud to live in a nation that is trying to overcome these bigotries that a vast majority of us have been instilled with since birth, basically, and recognizes that there is no reason to maintain these bigotries, uh, recognizes that all deserve equal protection under the law, and no one group should be uh, biased against or persecuted for their lifestyle when it is harming no one. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, some of the comments people have made about it still sicken me, disgust me. Uh, one person made a comment in particular that I wanted to respond to. He said he was proud of the judge for the ruling she made, which I'm proud of the ruling she made. I'm proud of her for that. I'm not happy about her then disagreeing on every point with the Attorney General's request for a stay and then turning around and instituting one anyway. Not proud of that. I think that was the wrong move to make, the wrong action. It showed she didn't have confidence in her own ruling and wanted to pass the buck to the 11th Circuit Court. Uh, it allows her to shift the blame to them. So, well, no, I felt I was upholding the law, but I left it to them by instituting a stay. Uh, not proud of that at all. So I wouldn't say I was proud of that judge's actions as a whole. Uh, then he said he was proud of the state of Alabama. Why? The state's reaction to this ruling is... It's disgusted me, plain and simple, from the governor to the head of the Supreme Court in Alabama to the probate association's reaction to the reaction to the vast majority of the populace in the state of Alabama. I mean, you have to remember that the Sanctity of Marriage Act was on the ballot. Uh, it wasn't something done by a few bigoted legislators uh, that was managed to be pushed through or by a bigoted governor. It was something that was done by the people in this state. A, an overwhelming majority voted to institute this act to add it to our Constitution. Uh, and the reaction to the ruling has been obscene. Uh, um, I mean, we have a, a, a the head of Alabama Supreme Court declaring that the state doesn't have to follow federal rulings or federal law. Uh, I think he should be disbarred, and if he continues to incite others to ignore federal law, he should be jailed. Um, and he's been trying to write letters to the governor, to the head of the probate association, to the probate association, uh, recommending that they ignore this ruling and continue to uphold the bans on same-sex marriage. Uh, so I'm not proud of this state or the people within it for their reaction or their actions in this matter. There's nothing to be proud of. If the state had its way, these bans would still be in place. Uh, Same-sex marriage would still be illegal in the state of Alabama. Uh, so why are you proud of the state? Uh, to me, that's an uninformed comment. I'm proud that we live in a country that has a, a legal system and laws in place to protect the rights of the minority, that we live in a country that is amenable to logic and reason. I am not proud that we still have so many people who will follow bigotries instituted by an archaic tribe who had no understanding of the world around them, no knowledge of people, none whatsoever. Yet they follow these bigotries in the name of a faith that has no evidence to support it, a belief in wishful thinking. 
Uh, so I'm not proud of this state, and I would never make that statement. I love the land, the beaches uh, in Alabama. I love the state for its beauty. I'm proud that they support some freedoms as long as they align with their beliefs. Uh, are happy about that, but in this matter, I am not proud of this state. I'm not proud of the actions by its people. I am disgusted by their reactions. I would never make the statement that I was proud of this state in this matter because other than a very few probate judges who immediately came forth and said that they would support the ruling and begin issuing these licenses until the state was in, put in place anyway, or since the state has been put in place, said if it wasn't extended, they would do so on Monday morning, uh, on the morning of the 9th. Uh, the Probate Association recommended not following the ruling. Uh, and it was ridiculous. So why anybody would make the claim that they were proud of the state of Alabama when the state would continue to uh, uphold these bans if they had a choice, I don't know. Uh, it seems very uninformed to me uh, when you make that statement. I am very proud that there are people within this state that are willing to stand up to the majority, that are willing to try to fight these bigotries, and willing to fight for equal rights uh, and equal protection under the law for all people. Um, that I am proud of. I am proud of those individuals, and they have a right to be proud of their actions uh, and the actions of those like them. But to say you are proud of the state uh, baffles me if you support this decision. I can understand bigots who want to extend this ban and hold on to this ban uh, on same-sex marriage, being proud of the reaction of the state. Uh, but somebody who supports equal rights for all and supports the judge's decision, I cannot understand them saying they're proud of this state. So, very happy about the ruling. We'll do my best to be at the courthouse Monday morning with other like-minded individuals who are uh, planning to be there as moral support and supporting same-sex couples seeking marriage licenses uh, and supporting the ruling. I'm going to do my best to be there. don't know if I'll be able to uh, with my pain issues in my back, but I'm going to do my best. So, happy about the ruling. Hopefully won't have to post much more. Uh, might try to do a little bit on what actually happens Monday. But other than that, I'm glad that this is coming to a resolution. Um, I'm very hopeful, although the 11th Circuit has not denied or refused to hear an appeal as of yet, that they will follow the example they set in the case that Florida attempted to appeal and bring to them when then the, they denied the appeal at that time. So I'm hoping they follow that example and deny Alabama's appeal as well. That has yet to happen. Um, and I'm very hopeful that this spring when the Supreme Court uh, sits the case, they uphold the decisions that have been made and basically force the states who still have these bans to get rid of them and make same-sex marriage legal in every state in this union.